if you're here tonight, you're most likely an artist, or you're someone who supports our art's existence, or you've at least looked at a picture and thought, whoa, that's cool. <laughs> and living in LA, you've probably heard about the writer's strike. To sum it up, the Writers Guild of America is asking the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers for higher wages than they have now. Let me know, this is not a simple request to make more money, like a corporate annual raise. This is actually a request to make the same money that writers were making a decade ago. Wages have been reduced dramatically since residuals have been slashed for streaming television. The AMT AMPTP refused to grant this request, along with other requests they deemed as luxuries from the writers. You know, like health care and food. <laughs> As an organization whose sole purpose is for writers to tell their stories and tell them better, it should come as no surprise that So Say We All stands with the WGA. We all know how hard it is to make money from writing in the first place. We can't afford to lose the few opportunities we have, which brings me to another reason why the writers are striking. The AMPTP <laughs> thinks it'd be totally fine to let AI like ChatGPT write scripts. In their eyes, if you programmed a robot to type it, you'd get credit for writing it. Writers, on the other hand, like writing and having original thoughts, I guess. So they're not into this. Honestly, at first, I was like, AI writing for me could be cool. After all, I'm lazy. It'd be nice to phone it in once in a while with a robot script. I also thought about all the movies I've watched that had real human writers and wondering how badly AI could really do. <laughs> I tested it out by, how, by telling ChatGPT to write a stand-up joke for a woman. ChatGPT gave me this joke, which I'll perform for you now. <laughs> Hey everyone, so I recently went out on a first date, and you know how awkward those can be. But this one was next level awkward. We were sitting at a fancy restaurant trying to make small talk, and suddenly he asked me, so what's your five year plan? I mean, seriously? I barely know what I'm having for dinner tonight. And you want me to predict my future? I should have just replied, survive this date, hope for the best. <laughs> the next part is an actual note at the end of the joke from ChatGPT. Note, stand-up comedy can be subjective and audience-dependent. It's essential to consider the context and tailor the content to suit the audience and their preferences. I feel like this is ChatGPT admitting that its jokes are gonna bomb every time, and it's up to the person telling them to be or telling the joke to be Funny, this is not helpful. So I tried again. For tonight's VAM show, I told it to write a first person story that's funny and engaging and has to do with the theme verses. Here's how it went. <clears throat> I woke up one morning to a surprising discovery. A note taped to my bathroom mirror that read, get ready for the ultimate showdown. <laughs> Meet me at the park, 3 p.m. sharp. It's versus time. <laughs> Confused and intrigued, I quickly got dressed and headed to the park, wondering what awaited me. As I arrived, I saw a large crowd gathered around a makeshift arena. Curiosity got the best of me, and I pushed my way to the front. There, I saw my mischievous friend Steve <laughs> wearing a cape and holding a microphone, ready to announce the battle of the century. Ladies and gentlemen, he boomed. Welcome to the epic showdown of cats versus dogs. <laughs> cats versus dogs. I couldn't help but burst into laughter. Really quick, I just want to say I'm not confident that ChatGPT knows what laughter is <laughs> or what humor is at this point. This story was very long, so I'm going to save you time and just skip to the end. As I walked away from the park, still chuckling to myself, I realized that the true victor victory was not in the competition, but in the laughter and joy it brought. The rivalry, rivalry between cats and dogs 
would always persist. <laughs> but the laughter and camaraderie we shared that day transcended it. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting stuff. As a writer myself, I've found that writers are some of the only people not benefiting from ChatGPT. ChatGPT is like having an emotionally devoid intern who only got the position because their uncle runs the company. Everything I've tried to have ChatGPT write for me is the blandest, most, most milk toast material I've ever had the displeasure of reading. And then I end up editing, adding in actual creativity and humor. So I actually would have been easier just to start from this from the beginning and do it myself which is why it's so important to support the writers in your community if you'd like to support so say we all follow us on facebook and instagram at so say we all online and go to our website to learn more about how you can get involved or you can at the very least buy us a drink